Hello my kinder art friends. We just watched the video all about how rainbows are formed because we are learning all about rainbows right now. And last week we met Roy G. Biv, whose name stands for every color on the rainbow. So we learned about the order and that it starts with red, then orange, yellow, green, blue, and then there's that eye for indigo, which is like a dark blue, and violet. All right, so now we know how a rainbow is formed. You have to have sun and some sort of water. It doesn't have to be a rain droplet. It could be water from a hose or a puddle on the ground, and the light reflects and retracts to create this beautiful rainbow out of the color spectrum. So what we're gonna do today is we're going to add a cloud and a sun to our rainbow to complete our whole project. Let's get started. Now that we've learned about what makes a rainbow, we're going to finish up our rainbow paintings. And so you're going to need to grab a couple of things. We're going to use some yellow paper to create a sun. And then I also just cut some little strips of yellow and orange and yellow orange paper. Um, if you do not have colored paper, you can always just color a sun on a white piece of paper and then cut that out. And I have a small piece of white paper for my cloud. Um, I have some crayons that we're going to use and then something to trace a circle. So I just have this old coffee can that I put some paint on to make my cup that I'll trace my circle with. So we are going to start our rainbow painting um, by coloring in the sky. So I'm just going to use my crayon and go through and color around the rainbow to make my sky. And I'll go ahead and fast forward through that part. Okay, so I have finished coloring in my sky. Notice I left zero white space left over. So now I'm ready to make my sun and my cloud. So I'm gonna go ahead and trace a circle on my yellow piece of paper. So I'm just gonna use a marker to trace around. So now I have my perfect circle and you can give your son a cute little face. You can give him glasses, make him smiling. I think my son's gonna be really happy. And I'll give him some cool little sunglasses. All right, so I went ahead and gave my son some rosy cheeks, gave him a little tongue and his glasses. So now I'm gonna go ahead and cut this circle out, which I forgot to grab my but here they are. So we're going to cut out our scissor, or nope. We're gonna cut out our sun. And so remember, you'll use your non-dominant hand to hold the paper, and then let your scissor hand just open and close to help turn our paper so where we can cut a curved shape. Awesome, so now I have my sun. He's gonna go down right there and we need to make our cloud. So I'm just gonna use some bumpy lines to create a cloud. So really big cloud, almost the size of my sun. And I'm also gonna give my cloud a little face. So I'll give him a really big smile, but I'm gonna give my cloud some colored eyes. All right, so now I'm gonna cut out my cloud. Cutting out the cloud might be a little bit trickier, but it's the same kind of thing. If you can't cut all your curved shapes, it's okay if it's not perfect, no big deal at all. We're all practicing and learning and trying together. Okay, so now I have my cloud and my sun, and I'm gonna glue them down to each side of my rainbow. And my son needs some beautiful sun rays, and so that's why I cut these little strips of paper. You can cut your own strips, or you can just draw your own um, little sun rays. And if you want, what you can do to make your son a little bit more fun is you can curl your paper around a pen or a pencil or anything and get a little squish. So now it has a little bit of a curly edge for our sun rays. So we're gonna go ahead and glue those all behind our sun and we'll come back when we're done. Okay, here is my completed project. I glued on my sun and some sun rays and my cloud to both ends of the rainbow. And we remembered that 
we the rainbow is for Roy G. Biv. So we have red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet in our rainbow. I hope you guys had so much fun learning all about rainbows. And now what you need to do is take a picture and upload it to Schoology. Happy creating.